Okay, Carl, thanks for speaking to us. No problem. Strange game. Yeah, it was always going to, you know, over the past um, few weeks, really, there's, there's been occasions like today where there's, there's teams that we should have beaten and have not. So it was really important today, firstly, that we secured the, the three points. Um, yeah. And then the performance really was secondary, but um, I thought in the first half we you know, controlled it, scored some good goals. And then second half, you know, after the first minute or so, and you know they've conceded, well we've conceded a sloppy goal. Um, I thought we controlled the second half, and yeah. on another day we would have scored more. But um, like I say, happy with the three points. Good to see um, some of the new players um, yeah. getting a run out, which was which was nice. And I thought everybody acquitted themselves well, so um, keeps adding to my headaches, but they're the good headaches that I, that I want. It's uh, it's it does seem to be a problem, doesn't it, getting a full ninety minutes in from the team we yeah. can do first or second half. We're yeah. struggling with the whole game, aren't we? Yeah, I, I don't know. I cannot put my finger on that. Um, it's something that we're looking into in, in respect of is it. Um, our training, fitness-wise, and stuff like that. And people have noticed that we've we started to come out early for second half and, and do yeah. some fast footwork and yeah. um, try and get the boys into the game beforehand. Um, and I think it's worked. I mean, today, you know, we've there's been a ball into the box and it's been an individual error at the end of the day where, where they've capitalised on. But other than that. You know, they have a, I don't think uh, Spider's really had a save to make and, and their lad at the other end's had quite a few saves and we've had a couple of near misses as well so on another day that could have been a, a real leathering for, for Eastwood and um, yeah, yeah. You, know, it's, you, can, you can look too deeply into things at the end of the day we needed three points and um, we're happy to get them. In, in terms of uh, Matthew Carr at uh, centre back with Adam Jones. It's difficult to assess, isn't it, on a day like today? It is. How well they played, but I guess that's important to you because we haven't had a clean sheet since early September, no. so that's obviously something that you're looking at. Yeah, yeah, we're looking to, um, you know, show up, show up at the back um, and add some competition for places more than anything. And, uh, you know, I think we've done that with, with bringing Matthew in and we possibly could be with somebody else coming in. Um, you know, before before next week. So is that as a, a defender or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. In there, and you know, and it, it'll free it'll free some of our other players who can possibly play more than the one position to to go in and you know just add add for the competition with places because you know I think we've been a, a possibly a little bit light on, on bodies yeah. with with a couple of lads leaving and. Um, I've had it. I've been mindful that we, we want to bring lads in because we, you know we did secure most of the players um, for at the end of last season. Um, and what you find is that the good players still out there who, who don't get fixed up with clubs for whatever yeah. reason and get released from clubs in a higher of a higher level. And you know they're they're dotted about there, ready to be be picked up. And um, we've seen that with. You know, young Greg Daniels today and Tom yeah, Fisher. Well today, yeah, yeah, you know, he's for a nineteen year old lad he shows yeah. a lot of maturity, so yeah. um <laughs> Um you know, so the the are real positives and the, the longer that they spend with us and you know, get into the into the, the way that we do things and you know get to know the players better, um the the the, the, the better the, they'll be as players. Yeah, to be honest, I mean, for the last three games we've got you know, two wins and a draw. One of them away at the league leaders and Ashton away, we never get anything. Yeah. Uh, we won that. So, in all in all, in, in the league, actually, we're doing pretty well. Yeah, we? and I think, we, you know, people have been on a downer for some reason. Yeah. We've, yeah. We've, we've, we nearly made the, the first round of the FA Cup and lost to a Hereford side who, who've gone on to beat Street. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Um, we all know the performance in the FA Trophy wasn't acceptable. Um, and we're doing things to put that right. But in, in the league, you know, we're, we're not bad. We're, we're pretty healthy. We've, we've dropped some points, but so has everybody else. Um, and we know, you know, we know what it takes to, to put on a, a decent run at, at any stage of, of the season. And hopefully, we can. That'll be. That'll be this is where we start our decent run. Isn't I it? hope so. Every year. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle and uh, Carl, um, Carlos came on today. Yeah. Uh, what, what's the situation with those two? Um, Carlos had a, um, a fitness test before the game and he was he was, he was fine, so obviously he's been out for three, four weeks. It'll take a little bit of time to get embedded back in. Um, and Kyle was, um, he had a, a tight hamstring after Wednesday night, so it was a bit, bit of a precaution leave and putting him on the bench. Um, but it also gave us a chance to, to introduce um, Matty Carr into, yeah. into the team and, you know, Dean Stott. 
who we know can play at right back, at centre back, or in holding midfielders. That, um, good at. He's been such an important player, Kyle, hasn't he, for us this season? So consistent week in week out. Yeah, so. but you know, I'd, I'd say that there's not been many where they've they've not really they've not set it on fire, but you know, they've been they've been pretty consistent. It's just been um, the the. There are times where if they have had a bad game, it's <laughs> they've all done it together, and it's been pretty atrocious to be honest. So um, normally, yeah. Yeah, as you know, normally if one person has a bad game, the next, the other ten um, rally round, and you, you end up coming away with results. But it's been um, ten people having a bad game, and, yeah. and one, <laughs> so one probably shining. So um, you know that's something we'll put, we'll look to put right um, within our training, and also. Um, it's just you can't put your finger on it. I speak to a lot, lots of people about it psychologically and stuff like that, where where you might get help, and um, it, it's it's just a very difficult one to, to yeah. put your finger on without changing all the personnel. Well, you know, I mean, you talk about the squad, Carl, yeah. and we've got um, obviously we've got games in hand, so that means we've got games coming thick yeah. and fast over yeah. the next so few weeks. That, so that, that that, that's that's obviously important. yeah, that's right. So how, how do you assess the sort of squad at the moment and I, I their think, readiness to, to step up? I, really, I, I think it's healthy. I think um, if you look, uh, lads who aren't even on the bench today with the likes of Scott Cheat and who's yeah. done really well, Scott this year, um, Phil McGrath who, who's had a couple of couple of games and, and, and shown real promise. Um, you know they they weren't even on the bench today, Jerome Wright as well yeah. obviously with his suspension. Um, so it shows that we've got plenty, um, plenty going forward and like I say, um, we're looking to make sure that we've got enough cover at the back and in midfield for, for, for the days when we need maybe go to Bush Hall or somewhere like that and we know it's going to be yeah. you know, real tough. You know what you're going to get. Yeah, you? yeah. And to be fair, is the, the, the league is, is quite open this year, isn't it? I mean, anybody steps up and puts a few games together they stand a real good shout of winning yeah, don't they yeah it is it's open but like I said at the start of the season it's possibly one of the most competitive that we've been involved in alright you haven't got a Halifax or a Chester who you know, pretty yeah. much everybody knew we were going to run away with it but we've got um, and including ourselves, five or six teams who could yeah. put a run together and, and, and take it away from everybody else. So, you know, we've got to be, we've got to make sure that we do our jobs, and that consistency is going to be key for, for, for the rest of the season. But today, good job done. Yeah, and there's an upper trail. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just uh, nice four-one, and like I say, it could have been a bit of a grinder skin, but we, I thought we yeah. dealt with it really well in the first half. Yeah, great. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks a lot.